Right, hello. Today I want to talk about one of the greatest emperors Rome ever had. I'm oh, really, in really honest. And he's not that well known. Right, he's, uh, we're talking about the age of the crisis. He's, he started his career during the, during the reign of Valerian and Galerianus. And he defeated a group of Sarmatians along with his good friend uh, Provus. He was good friends with, with Claudius. Right. So, um, after the death of Galerian... Uh, Valerianus was defeated and captured by the Persians. His son Galerianus took over. He was murdered by Urialis and uh, Claudius Gothicus defeated Urialis. Then he died of the plague and then his brother Quintilian took over. Uh, now, d during the reign of Claudius Gothicus, a large number of Germans, Germanic tribes, they crossed in what is today Serbia, in Yugoslavia, and they were defeated in a, in a battle at the city of Nysus. Nysos. And Aurelian, uh, was head of the, the cavalry, he was the cavalry commander, Magus, Magus the Militum, and he defeated the, uh, it was basically he that defeated the Germans. Right, so Claudius started the pestilence, Quintilian took over, and uh, then our good friend Aurelianus made a coup d'etat and he forced Quintilian to commit suicide. So he was the man for the job, uh, and now we're talking about the year 2071. Now, Gaul became a kingdom of its own, a Roman kingdom of its own. Now, Zinovia, Zenovia, the husband of Odenatus, well, when Odenatus was, was murdered, she took over and she became a rogue state instead of an ally. She took over most of Mesopotamia, Syria, Phoenicia, and Egypt. Right. So, so Aurelian basically ruled Italy, the Balkans, and a small part of Asia Minor. And, and the troops of, of Palmyra even reached Angira in Asia Minor. Right. So, so the first thing that Aurelianus did was he defeated the Goths, uh, the Swabi, the Goths, the Swabi, and the Sarmatians, and he defeated them in Pannonia, and he forced them to sign a peace treaty. That was in 271. Uh, but uh, another group of Goths, Goths captured and sacked Nicopolis. That's in modern-day Bulgaria. And um, now in uh, now in in Agrippina, in uh, in Gaul, Germany, Gaul. The rebel Victorinus was murdered by a clerk whose wife the emperor had to, had to pounce. He screwed his wife and he was succeeded by Detrichius. Right. And, and Aurelian would later fight Detrichius. So, uh, right. Uh, and a certain Septimianus was appointed emperor in Dalmatia, but he was killed by his own men. Right. Uh, at Placidia, northern Italy, the Macromani made a surprise attack and defeated the unprepared forces of Aurelianus. Now, later, uh, Aurelian gathered some new forces and he defeated the Marcomanni at the altar of Portuna and later at the battle of the Tarkensian fields. Right, and later Aurelianus defeated the Alamanni who were planning to invade Italy in battle near the Ister and he killed thousands of them. Right, and not long after that Aurelianus defeated a, a group of Goths in Thrace and he killed 5,000 men including their king Canabas. Not cannabis, cannabis. Right, and um, and he abandoned. Uh, Aurelianus also uh, abandoned parts of uh, the Trans Danube, and he transferred them to Me uh, Mesia. Right, and then Zosimus defeated. He arrested and executed a group of senators who were against him, and he executed the commanders Septimius, Urbanus, and Domitianus. They planned to make these three planned to make a coup d'état, but they failed to do so. Now. In 2072, uh, well, Aurelianus decided to fight against Zenovia, Queen of Palmyra. And, well, and he captured the Greek city of Diana, a certain Yeraklamon uh, uh, betrayed the city, but he was arrested and executed. Right. Uh, the Romans seized Angira and all the other cities. And uh, Aurelian then defeated the Palmyrians in battle at Daphne, which was a, a suburb of. Um, of, of um, Antioch. Right, and what happened was uh, Zenovia and her commander Zabdas fled to the city of Antioch and they pretended that they were the, victor the, vi they were the victors and they fled the city. But a large part of the, the Pomerian army remained at Antioch and they stationed themselves on a hilltop near Antioch. So in the second battle, the, the Romans formed a tight formation like a testudo. testudo and they charmed up the, up the hill and they, and they defeated them. Now, Balmina fled to the city of Emesa in Syria, 
The Romans seized the Bamia, Larissa, Lefus, and all the other cities. Cities. And uh, now, Aurelianus took with him a large group of, of, of Jewish infantrymen, and they were armed with clubs. Now, the, uh, the Palmyrian cavalry actually defeated the Romans in the Battle of Emesa, but the Jews, but the infantry counterattacked and defeated them, and the Jews with the clubs defeated the heavy mailed armed cataphract cavalry of, 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 Palmy of Palmyra. And Zenovia fled back to her main capital, Palmyra, which the Romans uh, uh, besieged. And, and then Zenovia, uh, Zenovia fled the city, and, and, and as she was crossing the uh, the Euphrates River, she was seized by the Roman cavalry, and was, she was taken to Aurelianus, but she was not harmed. Right, and meanwhile, the Romans defeated a group of brigands in, in, in the area. Right, and um, right, and um, well, later on, uh, later on, the Romans uh, under uh, Aurelianus defeated the Persians, also who were near the area of Palmyra. Right, and they then returned to Europe. Now, crossing the Bosporus and going back to Europe, uh, Aurelianus defeated, that's in 2073, he defeated the Carpi, a Germanic tribe. Now, uh, now as he was returning to, uh, to Christ, to, to Europe, um, Aurelianus was informed that a certain Achilles, perhaps a Greek man, rebelled in, in Palmyra and he slaughtered the, the, Roman, the Roman commander Sandario and his 600 bowmen. Now, the army of Aurelianus, which was in the Rodopi in Thrace, returned and captured and sacked Balmina. And the Romans actually massacred citizens, including women, children, and the elderly. According to that, that's Historia Augusta account. Now, according to Zosimus, uh, the Balmeans, Balmeans tried to bribe Marcellinus, the governor, the governor of Mesopotamia, who was recently appointed there. But he, but he failed to join the, um, the rebels. And the Romans captured and sacked Balmina cruelly. Right, and uh, not long after that, a certain Firmus made a coup and he seized Egypt. And he was assisted by the, the Blemia and the Saracen Arabs. But the Romans defeated the rebels, and, um, and, and actually, uh, and um, according to Eusebius of Caesarea, uh, um, Aurelianus besieged Alexandria, and he besieged the Birich, 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 well, the district. And Saint Anadolios, a church father, he made an agreement with the Romans and he permitted most of the deserters to escape the city. So the, um, the casualties were rather low. Now in two, two uh, 274, uh, the Romans marched to Gaul and they defeated the Tricius at the Catalani Fields. That's not, not far from where Aetius later defeated um, the Hunnic King Attila. Right, and then after that, what happened was, he made a big. I've really returned to Rome, and he made a big triumph. And in the triumph, he had the Tricius along with, with uh, Zenovia. Long in, in chains. And, but later on, he did not harm them. He actually gave them posts. Uh, gave them posts. Uh, to Tricius, even though he was defeated, he was appointed regulator of Lucania. And uh, to Tricius, the younger became a senator. And Zenovia was granted a villa somewhere in Campania. Right. Now. Uh, 2074, what happened was that the mint workers rebelled and they killed the commissioner Felicimus. Uh, right, and uh, now according to another account, it was Felicianus, the supervisor of the Greek purse, that revolted. And Aurelianus crushed the rebellion and he killed 7,000 rebels in Rome itself. Right, now in the, in the, in the following year, 275, the barbarians probably the Germans, invaded Vindelico in the Alps, but they were defeated by the Romans under Aurelianus himself. And later on, Aurelianus arrested and executed his nephew, uh, and perhaps his niece as well, for unknown reasons. She was quite cruel there. So, in the following year, what happened was that Aurelianus actually declared war on Persia. He had defeated them previously, during the siege of Palmyra, but, but, but he planned an all-out expedition against the Persian Empire. But he was murdered, uh, on the march at Genofurio, a city not far from uh, Constantinople, by a certain freedman called Mnistefs. And uh, well, what happened was that Mnistefs, or according to a stroke, according to uh, Zosimus, his name was um, Eros. So what happened was that he felt threatened for some reason by the emperor, and he he forged letters 
uh, in the name of Aurelianus, and he and he convinced the group of soldiers that they were to be executed by Aurelianus, and they believed the forgery. And what happened was that at Genophorium, they surprised and murdered the great emperor Aurelianus, and that was the end of Aurelianus. And not long after that, Provus took over the empire, and he took revenge on on Aurelianus, and the empire was restored. Now, so in five and a half years. Aurelianus defeated all the Germanic tribes, he defeated the, all the Saracens and all the Blemia, he defeated Tetricius in Gaul, and he, and he got the promise and he made it Roman again, and he recovered all the East, which was overtaken by the Mice Zenovia, the Mice Empress, Queen. Oh, and also when he took Zenovia, I forgot to mention that he executed the Greek, the Greek philosophers Antiochus and Longinus, and they were, they were supposed to be the advisors of, of Zenovia, I mention that. Right, so in five and a half years, he defeated all the Germanic tribes, he regrouped all the, the entire empire, he created a large economy, which Provis based himself on, and Provis continued his work for roughly the same, uh, the same period. And the empire was big and strong again, and it paved the way for the, uh, the, the Augusti, the Euclidean, Galerian, and all the Augusti, the, the dominant system. And also, according to Eusebius, Caesarea, the church father, um, Aurelianus planned to hurt the Christians, but he didn't have time for that because he was murdered by his, uh, his good friend. So we're talking about a barracks emperor, we're talking about the age of the crisis where emperors fell in day by day, I mean, month by month. Emperors would rise and fall, the Germans crossed the, the frontiers and they raided them with impunity, the Persians did the same. The, the Berbers, the uh, Sarmatians, and whatever, and, and then they, and so he, he made the empire strong and powerful. Of course, he was cruel. He shouldn't have executed his nephew, of course. And um, but it was the ancient times. So, and he was a Pannonian. And, and the funny thing is that all the, all the big, powerful military men who preceded Diocletian, including Diocletian himself, were from Pannonia, Illyria, Claudius, Gothicus. Uh, Aurelianus, Provus, and Euclidean himself, and Cosentine himself, the great. Oh, so that's about, that wraps up the story of one of Rome's, one of the mightiest emperors Rome ever had. This is part of the defensive system of Aurelian. This is a coin by the bearded emperor. On the reverse side we see Sol Invictus, Aurelianus believed in God's soul, the sun. Here he is again, Aurelianus. The gold arrears. And finally another section of Aurelian's walls, with a few additions during the Middle Ages.